On a snowy December day in 1888, Richard Wetherill and Charlie Mason, while herding cattle, emerged from the dense pinion juniper forest at the edge of a massive canyon, probably standing right above a small, long-forgotten cliff dwelling. Through the veil of blowing snow, they spied in the cliffs across the canyon what they said looked like a magnificent city. They named it Cliff Palace. The first person escorted to see Cliff Palace was Frederick Chapin, an experienced mountaineer who clam climbed down a rope from the canyon rim. He described the dwelling saying, it occupies a great space under a grand oval cliff, appearing like a ruined fortress with ramparts, bastions, and dismantled towers. One of the canyons and the museum were named after him.